everyone, Michelle Fix It here. Today we are going to be doing a complete uh, change out of all the components in the tank for a toilet. Uh, I proactively <laughs> purchased this a while back ago and now I'm reactively having to change it. Uh, I have one that I have to do at another house as well. So let's, uh, let's get to it. So first off, uh, this is the kit I'm using. I am not so fanciful that this is paid promotional stuff. I am, I'm not, I'm just not that cool. Um, this is just the one that I've used before and I think it works pretty well. Um, and, uh, you know, don't really have any complaints with it. I'm going to show you guys what's going on with the toilet. And husband cat's here. You guys, uh, don't get to see him but he is going to play camera crew, so maybe it'll make for a better video. So what happened was last night, crazy cat lady was like, hey, why don't you use the bathroom and uh, your flapper thing's broken. So you flush the toilet. And uh, the flapper is, uh, is a broken. And so these kind of things, like, they just happen. We have really, really hard water here. Um, so that's what all this nastiness is. Uh, things will prematurely wear out if you're using uh, any of those, like, drop-in tank things. I don't use those. This is just, I have no idea how old this kit is. And it's just something that happens. So I'm going to pass you guys over to Husband Cat. Sorry guys. You guys make me a little anxious when I'm being recorded when I'm doing certain things. Or even if I had a do I have a toilet paper roll? Because that proximal height. Because that one has stuff on it. Oh, I have an outlet thing. What the heck? Look at that action. I have a, I have a face plate for an outlet. <laughs> now we're back in business. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to pop this guy off. 
and see if maybe there's a flapper that I can do. And see, it just broke. It's just gross. I mean, they're not, there's not a lot to them. Um, I mean, in a pinch, you could probably use a hair tie here just to hold it together while you go to the store and get another one, but like the quality of it is all broken. All right, excuse me, husband cat. All right. Okay. You pretty much have the same kind of thing going on here. So, actually, I'm just gonna take this guy up here. See if that works. and see if it holds everything. These parts weren't meant to be together. Bam! Flapper chain. And the clip, I'm just sticking like that. This is going to be, I'm mean, probably going to have to take mice out of it. Shortens out the thing a little bit, doesn't it? Well, it didn't have enough water, too. All right. Um, let me put the lid on and make sure it makes for a good flush because you normally have like little links that you can take out of here, and you can change the placement. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but it works, and it means that I'm not going to have to manually change this out each time. Probably need to take that out and cover back out again. Huh? Alright. And now I have a new thing to add to my list. I gotta change out the valve over there. And this is gonna be a huge problem because it's right up against it's right up against this. So I'm gonna have to like cut it and then I have to very carefully put a new valve on there and that's gonna be a very annoying thing to do. Because if you can't turn off the water in something, then it's a problem. So this is your reminder to go through your house and see if you can shut the water off on things because you don't want to be in a reactive moment. Like, I got lucky. Um, but you don't want to be in a reactive moment of needing to turn off the water in your house, and uh, you can't. I don't like that. This is a very short flush. Okay, let's try that. That sounds like a more adequate flush. I'm good with that. So you can move it to the top, you can move it to the bottom, you can take this guy, change it with the links and stuff. It's all depending on how much water you want for the flush. That's it. So this video is actually going to be just changing out the flapper. So this is a super gross flapper and that's it. And then tell me